Welcome back to Mental Math. This equation looks simple, but it holds a dramatic secret. It's known online as the equation that explodes when you touch the line y equals 1. Let's find out why. First, let's investigate the exploding behavior. The expression dy over dx represents the slope of the solution curve. Notice the denominator. If y is equal to 1, the denominator becomes 0. Division by 0 means the slope is undefined or infinite. Visually, this means any solution to this equation that crosses the line y equals 1 must do so with a perfectly vertical tangent. This horizontal line, y equals 1, is the singularity. It's the line the equation cannot touch without its slope exploding to infinity. Now, let's find the general solution for this equation. This is a separable differential equation. Our goal is to group all y terms with dy and all x terms with dx. We will multiply both sides by y minus 1 and by dx. This gives us the separated form. The quantity y minus 1 times dy equals x times dex. Now that the variables are separated, we can integrate both sides to solve for the relationship between y and x. We apply the integral operator to each side. Using the power rule for integration on both sides yields the next step. The integral of y minus 1 is y squared over 2 minus y. And the integral of x is x squared over 2 plus a constant of integration, c. To simplify this expression, we can multiply the entire equation by 2 to eliminate the fractions. This results in y squared minus 2, y equals x squared plus 2c. Since c is an arbitrary constant, 2c is just another constant. We'll relabel it for simplicity. We'll call it k and move the x squared term to the left side. This form is still not easily recognizable, but we can reveal its geometric nature with a standard algebraic technique. The key is to focus on the terms involving y. The expression y squared minus 2, y suggests completing the square. To complete the square for y, we need to add 1 to both sides. Notice that y squared minus 2, y plus 1 is a perfect square, so we add 1 to both sides of the equation. This quadratic expression can now be factored. It becomes the quantity y minus 1 squared. The right side, k plus 1, is just another constant. Let's call it c. This is our final general solution. This is the standard equation for a hyperbola centered at the point 0, 1. The constant c defines the shape of the solution. Let's visualize the three distinct families of curves based on the sign of c. We will plot our solutions on the coordinate plane. The solutions form three distinct families. For c greater than zero, we get blue hyperbolas that open up and down. For c equals zero, we get two orange lines. And for c less than zero, we get purple hyperbolas that open left and right. The blue hyperbolas never touch the red line. Their vertices have a horizontal slope. It is the purple hyperbolas that actually cross the singularity. At these crossing points, their tangents become perfectly vertical, fulfilling the title of the equation that explodes. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this problem, give it a like and subscribe for more. See you next time.